Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Vicky. If you are new here, I am 23 years old, <laughs> pregnant with baby number one. Today, I am 34 weeks and three days along. We have a really fun, exciting video today. I'm gonna be doing some nursery organization and whatnot and give you guys a little tour of the baby's room. If you guys like the video, don't forget, give it a big thumbs up, press subscribe down below. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour show you what you were working with <laughs> and then we'll get down to it. I'm so thirsty right now. <laughs> I'm having a peach bubbly. So you come in the door and this is what you see first, a little overview. So down here we have some trash we need to pick up. <laughs> Baby bouncer all put together. Here's the closet. So here's what we got going on in the closet right now. So up here is some extra blankets and pillows and things like household stuff. This was a guest room. Baby bath, a little bit of clothes. This box is bigger size clothes that we were gifted. Some extra diapers and wipes and a couple of stuffed animals. And honestly, because they were just already in here. This is our crib. We are not putting together the crib. We have a bassinet playpen in the bedroom that he's gonna be sleeping in for the first couple of months. So we're not putting that together just yet. Here is a chair, it's got my bobby on it. And this is the mess that needs to be addressed the most. <laughs> so this is the crib mattress. And then we have this futon. The futon doesn't fold up anymore, it's broken. And we are going to be getting rid of it, but it's just gonna be staying here until we do finally get rid of it. <laughs> Same thing with this. This is a coffee table that's old. And then we just have a plethora of things that need to be organized. This is a door to the fire escape. Like I said, baby's not gonna be sleeping in here for a while, but it has not one, not two, not three, but four locks on the interior door and one on the exterior door. This is going to become a diaper changing caddy for the living room. This is going into our room. This is trash. We've got a diaper genie, a little postpartum basket. This is stuffed animals and things that we washed yesterday. These are all his clothes that we washed yesterday. And this is the dresser. We've got the changing pad. All this stuff needs to be put away. And the inside of the dresser is somewhat organized but we are going to finish doing the organization today i don't know what the best angle is here but i'll like talk you guys through what is going on i did some folding after we did the laundry yesterday and some sorting so i have this which is pants this is size zero to three and three to six months some of the pants, after I washed them, looked way smaller. Um, so I decided to just put them all together. That way I can like just pick the ones that fit at the time, if that makes sense. Three to six month long sleeve and short sleeve onesies. And there's a sweater in here as well. And then I have zero to three long sleeves and onesies. This is bibs that's gonna go in a different drawer. This is washcloth, it's also gonna go in a different drawer. Yeah, and then we have socks and hats, which go in the top drawer. Um, you guys probably saw this when I moved from my to out of the way. This black organizer, it's just from the dollar store. It was in the like, what's the word? Office supply section. So this is where all my socks and things are gonna go. I've shown these before, but aren't these so cute? They're little like DIY um, crocheted converse. If you guys want a deeper look into the actual clothes that we have for him, I do have a couple videos on my channel going over all of the different clothes. Let me show you guys the dresser organization thus far. Oh, here is the top drawer. We have some newborn diapers. We got this sample set off of, um, from Huggies and then a bunch of wipes. This is the soap that we're planning on using. Washcloths, socks, hats. Um, these are shoes, booties. Here's some pacifiers, which I shouldn't have touched the nipple because I just sanitized these so that I could pack them away in the hospital bag. Here's a big jar of pseudo cream, which is diaper rash cream. Here I have his lotion. 
um, this is a pacifier clip and uh, one of these things, one of these things, this is hard to open one-handed, health and safety kit, it's got nail clippers, things like that, toothbrush, hairbrush, this is some baby medicine, so this is like for the stomach if it gets a cold, and then some teething stuff for when that's time. And this is the, so this is the top drawer. Here's what we got going on in the clothes drawer. So this is all of our newborn sleepers. We decided not to get very much newborn. I've heard that babies can grow out of newborn really fast. We didn't want to go too crazy. We did get a Halloween onesie, even though he might not come till after Halloween. I'm doing the 29th, if you didn't know. And this is extra space for putting more newborn stuff. If we buy it, if we need it, there's some extra space for it. Like I said, these are um, onesies, long sleeve. They're all long sleeve because he's gonna be a winter baby. And then this is the zero to three sleepers. We have some fleecy ones, some non-fleecy ones. Here's the pants. These are zero to three and three to six. These are all long sleeve onesies. These are all short sleeve onesies. Excuse Jimmy in the back room. And then these are the three to six sleepers that we have right now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Here's the bottom drawer. So in this drawer, we have crib sheets. This is a wearable blanket. And then at the very back is swaddles. These are all receiving blankets, which we're gonna use as burp cloths. This is a hand knit sweater. This is a like bunting bag, super cute. Here's some blankets that we have. These two are handmade, and then a nice fuzzy one. In the back, there is the bibs, some diaper genie refills, and then these are um, breast disposable breast pads. Jimmy just really does not want to be quiet right now. So we also washed all of his stuffed animals. So we did wash these on delicate, because some of these are handmade. This one's handmade. Um, this guy is handmade, which he has a hat. Yep, here it is, here's his hat. And then this one is also handmade. So yeah, we did wash these all on delicate so that they didn't fall apart. We washed the, um, the handmade blankets on delicate as well. So he has this whole bag of stuffed animals. I'm not, I wanna get like a basket for it but I don't have that yet. So for now, they're just gonna live in this bag. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on my diaper changing caddy, my postpartum baskets, my breastfeeding basket that I put together. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I'm feeling really tired. My hair is so frizzy right now, I just can't. <laughs> I can't deal with it. But yeah, I'm really tired, so I'm gonna take a little break. Here's my little quick lunch. I have some waffles, syrup to dip it in, a white peach, and a flavored water because I'm really thirsty today, but water, plain water is not what I want, so. I feel like kind of a hot mess today is what it is. I'm gonna eat this. I am just started season three of The Circle. I also spilt the syrup everywhere, fun fact. Today, actually, is the election in Canada, so we're also gonna go vote later today. Also, have you guys tried white peaches? They're good, but they're not like, they don't hit the same as yellow peaches or nectarines. Hey besties, so it is the next day. I ended up taking it easy after doing the dresser organization yesterday. I just was like not feeling that great. I try not to push myself too hard. It's like 5.30 right now, I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm eating cereal. Don't judge my appearance right now because let me tell you, it's been a day. This morning at nine, I had my OB appointment, just my, my regular checkup. I am 34 weeks, four days today. Went in, they did all the usual stuff, took my blood pressure, um, listened to the baby's heartbeat, measured my bump, um, did my weight, which in the past three weeks, I've gained 10 pounds. Like, holy moly, this kid is putting on weight. They gave me my ultrasound results, which I had an ultrasound on the 7th. So I think that was like two weeks ago. And baby is in the 89th percentile, which means that he's 
big. And at that appointment, I also did my group B stretch swab. So they only did one swab. I didn't have to do the booty swab. I'll get the results for that soon, I'm sure. I had really high blood pressure. And so my OB sent me to the hospital to get a non-stress test done. They put these belts to your tummy, just monitor the baby. They took some blood, tested my urine as well, checking to make sure I don't have any proteins in the urine so that I don't, making sure I don't have preeclampsia. Everything turned out to be completely fine. Jupiter has been so needy since she got her surgery. Um, if you didn't know, I got her fixed like a week ago. Of course, I get sent to the hospital on a day that Clayton is working over an hour away. So I was in the hospital for like three hours. The doctor came in at the very end, said everything is fine. You can leave. That was kind of irritating and I feel like that caused a lot more stress than was necessary because I was completely fine. I have no symptoms of preeclampsia. I did a dip test at the beginning of my appointment. No protein in my urine. Baby was completely fine. His heart rate was totally fine. There realistically wasn't very much cause for me to go in. Better safe than sorry. Everything was fine. So I have another appointment next week to do like a checkup on that whole situation. What's up, girlfriend? <laughs> what are you doing? One thing I do want to say is that like the group B swab, people make such a big deal out of it. It's literally like five seconds. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. Um, it is super rainy and gloomy out. Forgive the I see going in the back there just kicked up. <laughs> um, uh, okay, let me go turn it off the air. Okay, so I turn on the kettle. I'm gonna make some tea. I have red raspberry leaf tea. Um, this is supposed to help with labor. I, I don't remember what it softens your cervix or something. I don't know. So I've been waiting to have this because you should do this when you're further along. Let's steep for 10 to 20 minutes. It's a long time. Uh, anyway, so I accidentally got loose leaf, which Amazon tricked me because it said 16 packets. And obviously this is not packets. And it is 40 grams or 7 point or 1.76 ounces. So where's the 16 coming from? I got duped. But anyways, <laughs> so I have a tea strainer. I had to go buy this because I didn't have it. And this is my cup. It's from David's Tea. And it was a Christmas gift from my mother-in-law. And it has like this sparkles with like little leaves and apples, super fall vibes. So, I don't really know how much to do. I've never tried this, so I hope it tastes good. It smells good. It smells just like an herbal, kind of minty almost vibe. I will let this steep and I'll get back to you for the taste test. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm not going to turn off the AC for you this time, sorry. <laughs> oh, it just powered down to the lower level anyways. I didn't add anything to this and I might put some honey in. Oh, my strainer let some through. Okay. <laughs> it smells herbal, a little bit like mint tea. It's good. Oh, that's, that's, that's a blessing. <laughs> it just tastes like herbal tea, like any, any herbal tea that I've had. Except chamomile, I hate chamomile tea. I am gonna add some honey, cause it's boring. Oh, my honey is crystallizing. I'm more of like a black tea kind of gal, like an Earl Grey or just like an orange pico, boring. So it's good. I'm, I'm really happy about that because I plan on having this pretty much every day and I was kind of worried that it was going to be yucky, but it's not. Also, I have started eating dates. I like to keep them in the fridge. They're so much better in the fridge. These are snacking dates, it said. My favorite kind of dates is medjool dates and these are really small. But I just started off by having like three every couple of days. So these are supposed to help soften things too. 
like I said, they don't want you to start doing this stuff until later on in your pregnancy. So, I don't know if this is gonna make a difference. It's my first pregnancy, so I have no idea what my labor's gonna be like, but we're gonna try it out and see what happens. All right, peace. Hey, so it is now Thursday. I have been working on editing the vlog today. I've been, this week I have really haven't been feeling good ever since everything with the non-stress test and that whole day, I've been feeling really gross, just so tired. My stomach has been really upset, but he's like, he's pretty high right now. So he's pushing on my tummy a lot and I've just been taking it easy and just chilling because I just really have not been feeling good. So that is pretty much it for this week in my life. I, like so much happened, but also nothing happened. <laughs> really, it was just that one day. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, big thumbs up, subscribe down below. Next week, I'm going to be packing at baby's hospital bag. So that will be a super fun video. All right, bye.